What types of doctors see the fewest patients per hour? The answer may surprise you. Dr. Jubal, MedSchoolInsiders.com A recent report was released on the average number of patients seen per hour by specialty, which ranges from 1 to over 15. If that sounds like a lot, that's because it is. Physicians and hospitals make money based on the number of patients seen and procedures performed. RVUs, or relative value units, are used by Medicare and insurance companies to determine how much a physician should be paid for their services based on time spent with a patient. This pressure often has a negative impact on both the well-being of the patient and the doctor. We cover how RVUs work in a previous video linked in the description. The pressure on physicians to see more patients per hour varies by specialty and practice setting. Let's start with which doctors see the most patients per hour. First up, with the most patients seen per hour are orthopedic surgeons, ophthalmologists, and diagnostic radiologists at 5.25. Orthopedic surgeons can see between 2 to 12 patients per hour, but this includes both procedures and shorter check-in appointments. Operations can take anywhere from 30 minutes to 4 or more hours, depending on the complexity of the procedure. However, in the clinic, visits tend to be quick because they are assessing patients pre-op, post-op, and for follow-up. Compared to other procedural specialties, ophthalmologists, on average, perform shorter procedures. Most ophthalmologists see between 1 to 10 patients an hour, but that number can climb to over 15 for those who work in hospital settings and for certain specialists, like retina specialists who have quick appointments. The higher number of patients seen also includes pre- and post-op appointments. Diagnostic radiologists also see between 1 to over 15 patients per hour, but this number is not reflective of direct patient interaction as they are reading images of a patient. The higher number reflects many x-ray reads, which are far less time intensive than CTs, MRIs, or PET scans. Most diagnostic radiologists reported seeing 6 patients an hour. Next up is dermatology, with an average of 5 patients per hour, though this number can range between 2 to 11, with the mode being 4 patients an hour. At an average of 4 and a quarter patients per hour is otolaryngology, or ENT, and general surgery. ENTs can see as few as 2 patients per hour to as many as 9. However, just like ortho, this includes short appointments before and after the surgery. Next is nephrology, urology, and ob with an average of 4 patients per hour. Nephrologists and ob both can see anywhere between 1 to over 15 patients, though both specialties more commonly see 1 to 8 patients per hour. Both nephrologists and ob who reported seeing over 8 or 9 patients an hour worked in hospital settings. Again, and you may be seeing a trend here, those who work in a clinic see fewer patients than those who work in a hospital, where they will be rounding on patients both on their own service as well as consulting for other services. In the hospital, once patients are admitted, physicians complete many quick checkups, whereas in the clinic, Physicians see a specific patient once every few months, or even once a year, which leads to longer time spent with that patient in a single appointment. Urologists reported seeing between 2 to 8 patients an hour, with 3 patients being the most common. Urology is a unique procedural specialty in that there are many conditions that are managed non-operatively, which means you'll spend more time in the clinic. If you're thinking these numbers are all quite similar, consider how small differences add up over the course of a day, week, or year. Seeing 2 patients an hour compared to 5 patients an hour across an 8 hour day is a difference of 16 versus 40 patients. That's a difference of 80 patients versus 200 over a 5 day work week. The numbers add up and compound over time, adding to physician burnout. Another key burnout consideration is charting. Some specialties see more patients per hour but may not have as much charting, and vice versa. What's best for you depends on your personality, tolerance for patient interaction and charting, and career preferences. More on that later in this video. The specialties that reported seeing an average of 3.75 patients per hour are hospitalist, pediatrics, and pulmonology. Hospitalists reported seeing anywhere from 1 to over 15 patients in an hour, with most seeing 2 patients an hour. There's such a high degree of variability in how many patients hospitalists see an hour because when they're first admitting a patient, there is much more time spent on collecting the patient's history and performing a physical exam. But once the patients are admitted and stabilized, 
In the mornings and evenings, the hospitalist will round and see a large number of patients in a quick period of time, examine them in person, and glance at updated labs and vitals to ensure they're stable before moving on to the next one. Both internal medicine and family medicine hospitalists reported similar numbers. Pediatricians also reported seeing between 1 to over 15, though most said the number ranged from 1 to 9. Just like IM and FM physicians, pediatricians who saw more than 10 patients often worked as hospitalists or with nonprofit groups and federally qualified health centers or FQHCs. The majority of pediatricians reported seeing three patients an hour, which is more representative of the clinic setting. Most pulmonologists reported seeing one to five patients an hour, and those who reported seeing over six an hour typically worked in hospital settings. Next, sitting at an average of three and a half patients per hour is hematology, oncology, and interventional radiology. Hematologists oncologists reported seeing between one to over 15 patients an hour, while most reported seeing three patients. Once again, physicians who reported seeing over six patients an hour worked in hospitals and included patients seen on rounds. Most interventional radiologists reported seeing an average of three patients per hour. Interventional radiology procedures vary from relatively quick procedures, like placing a central line within an hour, to longer procedures like complex tumor ablations, which require several hours. Curious why diagnostic radiologists see more patients per hour than interventional radiologists? Check out our video on diagnostic radiology versus interventional radiology linked in the description. Next, with an average of three and a quarter patients per hour are cardiology, anesthesiology, and physiatry. Cardiologists reported seeing an average of three patients per hour, but the numbers ranged from two to over 15. Physicians who reported on the higher end were consulting on admitted patients in the hospital, as well as reviewing stress tests, echocardiograms, and other diagnostics. Anesthesiologists also reported seeing quite a wide range of patients, from 1 to over 15. However, most reported seeing one patient, which means they were in the operating room for the entire hour. Generally, anesthesiologists will be in the operating room alongside the surgeon, so they'll be with a patient for several hours for complex procedures. Physiatrists or PM&R doctors reported seeing one to seven patients an hour with the mode being two. Next up is an average of three patients per hour, which is by far the most common number reported by physicians. These specialties include family medicine, internal medicine, allergy immunology, gastroenterology, endocrinology, and infectious disease. Physicians from family medicine and internal medicine reported seeing anywhere from 1 to over 15 patients an hour. FM doctors who reported seeing over 7 patients an hour worked in both inpatient and outpatient settings and included rounding in their patient count. The same goes for IM doctors working in a hospital setting. Gastroenterologists and allergist immunologists both reported seeing between 2 to 6 patients an hour, and infectious disease specialists reported seeing anywhere from 1 to 6. Endocrinologists reported seeing between 2 and 5. At 2.75, average patients per hour are rheumatology and sleep medicine. Rheumatologists reported seeing between 1 to 5 patients per hour, with 3 being the mode. Sleep medicine physicians reported seeing 2 to 4 patients an hour. Coming in at 2.5 patients seen per hour are psychiatry, neurology, and addiction medicine. The vast majority of psychiatrists said they saw between 1 to 5 patients an hour, but 2 was most common. Psychiatrists who reported higher numbers typically worked at hospitals, nonprofits, or FQHCs. The vast majority of neurologists reported seeing 1 to 4 patients, with 2 being the mode. Once again, Physicians who reported seeing 15 or more patients worked in hospitals and factored in rounding and service counts. Addiction medicine physicians reported seeing between 2 to 4 patients an hour. In third place, for the fewest number of patients per hour are radiation oncology and emergency medicine at 2 and a quarter. Most radiation oncologists reported seeing between 1 to 6 patients an hour, but the mode was 2. This is also the case for emergency medicine physicians, but they reported seeing between 1 to 5 patients an hour. While seeing fewer patients per hour can lead to less burnout, this is not always the case. Emergency medicine is known for high levels of burnout from charting, difficult patients, irregular hours, and stressful, unpredictable circumstances. 
In second place is geriatric medicine at 1.75 patients per hour. While the most common number was 2, the numbers ranged between 1 and 4. And in the final place, the medical specialty that reported the fewest number of patients seen per hour is hospice and palliative care. These physicians see anywhere from 1 to 3 patients an hour, but most reported only seeing 1, which makes sense given the sensitive nature of the specialty. Across all specialties, 3 and a quarter was the average number of patients seen by doctors per hour. Wondering about surgical specialties and subspecialties beyond the ones covered here? Unfortunately, the datasets for most surgical specialties were too small to assess fully. While ranges were inconclusive, trauma surgeons reported an average of 5.75 patients an hour, colorectal surgeons reported an average of 4.75, plastic surgeons an average of 4.5, vascular surgeons 3.75, and neurosurgeons 3.5. The higher reported averages reflect pre-op and post-op appointments and rounding on admitted patients, which are generally much shorter than the actual surgery. While this is hardly a conclusive list of all medical specialties, it sheds light on the relative day-to-day -day responsibilities of different physicians, especially those who work in hospital and nonprofit settings. More patients can mean more stress, and more stress means a higher chance of burnout regardless of the paycheck. But it's not so black and white for all specialties. You also need to take into consideration the type of patient, the amount of charting required, and under what circumstances you're seeing that patient. EM doctors may see fewer patients than a dermatologist on average, but the weight, stress, and unpredictability of each patient are much higher for EM doctors, in addition to the high volume of charting required. When considering which specialty is the right fit for you, it's essential to consider multiple different factors, and time spent with each patient is one of them. Do you want to be able to spend time building relationships with your patients, or do you want to be able to help as many people as possible within a short time frame? Our So You Want To Be playlist, linked right up here, takes a deep dive on over 50 medical specialties, breaking down time spent training, residency competitiveness, lifestyle, pros and cons, salary, and more, so you can make the most informed decision for your future career.